Hey kids, comics. The silver-haired Bronze Age babe here to yak about her comic book collection. And today we're going to talk about the actual book that turned me into a comic book fan. And also subsequently, how many copies of one book can one person own? So this is a Brave and Bold from 1969, number 82. And it was a hand-me-down from a family friend. They all came coverless. And I spent uh, just hours and hours poring over them. And I can show you here the page that the images just stuck with me like, uh, like nothing I could believe. But basically, again, Neil Adams, this whole page, these images, uh, just captured my attention back in the day. And uh, I couldn't put it down. So it was only later on um, that I realized that my guy Neil Adams uh, was actually doing a lot of the comics that I enjoy so much. Um, so the years pass and I get back into, you know, I stop and start comic collecting like most people. And I got back into it and I'm like, you know, I wonder what the cover of this looks like because I never saw it. So I went on to the eBay and found a pretty good one and I thought well that is pretty darn beautiful and so uh, long story short I decided that what the collection really needed was a high-grade copy of the books that meant so much to me and this if I have to have a desert island book uh, this is probably the one so I went online and I found somebody who was selling they say that it's Probably a nine or something I'm not sure and I don't care it looks beautiful I'm too cheap to send them to CGC uh, so you know there you go but uh, so Batman Aquaman and this is why I knew who the character of Orm was in the Aquaman movie so there you go so so that's it that's uh, one of the books that turned me into a fan and a collector and I'm thrilled to have some nice copies of it all right, we'll see you next time. Next issue on sale on or about next week.